I'm trying to find more and more ways to get them up and engaged and talking during these types of lessons. But it gets to just stay up in the sky. Monday morning you wake up and you're like, what am I supposed to be doing? Practice that blending. Buddy, keep going. At least we were close. Hey sweet friends, welcome to a day in my life. If you're new here, I'm a first grade teacher in Las Vegas. I post daily vlogs, weekly vlogs, teacher tip videos, and I'm very active over on Instagram. I post reels and TikToks and all the things. So today we're just gonna do simple day in the life. I will say this weekend was really nice. I feel like I did a lot of things for myself, cleaned the house, mostly the kitchen, baked bread, baked cookies, made homemade chicken noodle soup, cleaned my car, but I also spent way too much time thinking about school Sunday night. It's been very clear in my vlogs this year because we have a new curriculum at our school that I've been not struggling, but struggling to figure out how I want to balance it and figure it out and what I want to implement and what feels right to me versus what is mapped out in the curriculum. So I always end up planning things and then taking a look at the curriculum and then adjusting it. That's just how this year is going, unfortunately. So I did adjust my plans for this week ever so slightly, um, but I have a ton to do because of those plans that I made last night. And I'm one of those people who, probably because I'm unmedicated, I go in one direction. I just go and go and go and go and go and I cannot like stop my train of thought. And so so I was making things last night, I was creating things last night, like it was just too much. It's also one of those things where it's like sometimes it's beneficial because it's like, oh, if, if I stopped there then I wouldn't have had this great idea. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the rabbit hole? Anyways, I am ready, mostly, in the sense of plans. I got my PowerPoint ready for the week. You know what? It's been a minute since I've shown you that, so I'll go ahead and show you what my weekly PowerPoint looks like right now. Um, on the first couple slides, just for me, I am putting like a screenshot from the curriculum just so I can reference back to it. All my morning journals put in and all of our specials are put in. Put our morning journals and our specials teachers up at the top so they can see. Our specials are also divided into two groups, which is annoying. And then my literacy slide, we start with my magic. This is the same every day. Go into sight words, if we're learning a new sight word. Um, and then phonics, I just have this blank side so I know that it's next. Um, but I actually need to do is put in some chips so I don't have to draw. Hold on. I'm gonna put blue and red chips in here and just drag them with my pen. Okay, much better. Now when we're mapping I can just drag those. I don't know why I didn't do that before. And then we move into poetry. I need to actually change this. <laughs> so we were almost there. Um, our read aloud for the week. The curriculum has a different book kind of um, set for us, so I'm gonna read that on Tuesday. On Monday, we're doing the koala who could. So here's what I mean when I say, like I look at the curriculum and then I change a little bit what I'm gonna do. Our essential question this week is how do we animals' bodies help them and they're introducing more nonfiction during the read aloud which is great. I'm reading The Qual Who Could, trying to incorporate um, science standard this week and next for actually for the next like two or three weeks about animals and offspring, their similar or different and how they communicate with each other. That's one of our science standards that I don't do an awesome job of hitting every year. I do animals again towards the end of the year where we talk more about like adaptations. But anyways, we've got that. And we have our independent reading time. I can't show you that whole side because there's children's faces and I don't have all of their permission, at least not yet. Um, and then our center slides for the week are done. I rearranged their groups because last week there was one group who they didn't just struggle in library, they didn't just struggle in writing, they struggled everywhere so I kind of rearranged them. Now when we're done cleaning up centers I usually just have them wait on the carpet and they'll they'll start quiet mouse but I'm like why don't they just review 
sight words or something while they're waiting for me to finish checking folders for that two minutes. Right before lunch and then for math, I got in all of our math talks. I have not been good about incorporating these math talks in, but I'm gonna get better about that. And then this week we're gonna be focusing on Friends of 10. I decided not to stick with the pacing of, the, you can see all these things that I was thinking about last night. I decided not to stick fully with the pace of the curriculum, which had us going straight into addition within 20. And I talked to a few other people and we were all kind of on the same page about just like, and I mean like in person and online, about how much practice these kids need. Um, so we're gonna do Friends of 10 this week we're also gonna play this shut the box game if you've never heard of it I don't know if we'll get to that today so it might not be in this vlog but look out for later vlogs make sure you're subscribed and then for writing we're still doing opinion if you watched my last vlog uh, wasn't the best it, it didn't go super well they definitely need more help writing but I have a feeling this week's gonna be better I have these from the Moffat girls and I just put them into my slides so we're just gonna review fact and opinion today um, and an example for favorite food I think they might write about their favorite food today and all we're doing is this part just step one state our opinion they do it in their journal which I don't have over here these are their morning journals but they do it in their journals and then they come show me we talk about it edit it super fast I don't edit every little thing if you've seen my vlogs before for. Um, I have shown what those little mini conferences look like and it's just like the major things or things that I want them to work on. So as we go through the week I've got the different slides and then after writing they clean up. I assign each house a job every day to clean up. Why isn't it going? There you go. So they rotate their jobs every day to help keep our classroom clean and those are my weekly slides. <laughs> Other things that I worked on last night were I had to add a few more little direction cards. I put these up at the front of my board so the students know what the directions are and they don't have to ask. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Right there. And then another thing I worked on was I made this little shut the box template for them to use and I think this is gonna be fun I do have I added the actual shut the box game to my Amazon wish list. I added two versions so I'm hoping those get purchased what else did I do want to cut and laminate these little things for our independent reading time so whenever kids like take a test they can put something on the board so I can kind of see it and or if they pass like a level in our reading program they earn like a trophy they can put it on the board themselves so I can see it and they don't have to come up and tell me um, but it's still satisfying for them and then what else did I do I just made a list of everything I need to do. Anyways, that's my brain, Monday morning. We have one minute left for our morning, morning journals. So now you can share with a friend what you wrote about your favorite place. If your friend forgot punctuation, finger spaces, or anything we need, make sure that you show them and say, next time, don't forget. Every morning, Mrs. Paul writes us say. Good. Morning. Happy. Morning. Yes, we will be. Magic. My magic is my favorite part of the day. I feel like I say that about all the parts of the day, but I love all the parts of the day because they help us be better readers and better writers. writers. We're not doing this for nothing, first grade. Words you're gonna be able to read the spell eventually. Look at that. Ready? Oh, I'm sorry, let's review our endings. Okay, this week we are going to practice adding endings to our words. Up, up, spell rub. R U B rub. If I want to make this word say, if I want to make this word say rubbed, like I rubbed my belly, which ending am I going to add? E rubbed, rubbed, rubbed. To spell the word rub in a VC rhyme like this, where we have our vowel and our consonant. Before we add the ending, we need to double the letter. So it'll look like this, rub, d, rub, d. But we have to make sure we double the letter. Spell rub. Oops, hold on. R, U, B. Double the 
letter. And we're going to add our ending. How do we spell our ending? D. The word is rubbed. Rubbed. So when we spell it together, it looks like this. R U B B E D. Ready? Practice again. R U B B E D. Rubbed. You ready? Ep, ep, ep. Spell pep. P E P. Say pepper. Check your ending. Ready? Spell pepper. P E P P E R. Pepper. Oh, isn't that cool? Egg, egg, egg. B I G. Spell big er. Ready? B I G G. E R. Good. All together. Big girl. Wow. Okay. Ready? Yeah. We haven't done E yet. So today, E. It's one of our vowels. Vowels can make how many sounds? They can make at least two. Sometimes they can make that uh sound too, right? There's a consonant on either side. B, E, D. So that superhero E, it's in disguise. But in a word like B, B, E, it gets to just stay up in the sky. B, E, wed. What's the word? Wed. wed. First color? W, E, what color? Red. Red, good. Wed. What color? Blue. Blue, good. Ready? W, E, D, wed. Good. Help me spell it. First sound. First sound. I need everybody together. This is so sad. First sound. Whoa. Whoa. Spell it. Sound. Nope, I didn't like that. First sound. Whoa. Spell it. Good. Our word is wed. Middle sound. Spell it. Good. Wed. Last sound. D. Spell it. D. Make a C, then close the door. Read it. Wed. Just like this. Our E says eh, eh, eh. And all of our other words that do not follow the pattern are going to go here. So the first word, pet, eh, that follows our pattern. Our next word, pit, who can tell me why this doesn't follow the pattern? Because it has an I. Get it and get started. Five minutes on the timer. Five minutes. Okay. Get your poetry folder, look over your poems. Get your poetry folder and read your poems. Awesome, get your poetry folder and look over your poems. Hey okay, friends, time's up. If you're not done, that's okay. Bring me your papers. All right, we have a brand new poem this week. On day one, we always read and we look for our sight words. Everybody should be over here. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep your folders closed for this part. You'll open them when we read it together for the sight words. Two new ones. Mm, map it, map it. First you tap it. Hear each sound and then attach it. Heart the parts. Unexpected practice, practice. Then you'll get it. Our first word we're practicing is the word with. W -e Good. What's that first sound? W. We're going to spell that. W. 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 E Next sound. I. E We're going to spell that with an I. Last sound. Who remembers our secret? T, T, -H. T H. So technically, we know this, but that TH, we have to remember that part is a hard part. It is a secret. With. Next word is there, like over there. there. Today, our focus is using what we know. Readers use what they know. 
Readers use what they know. We're using what we know to help us understand the story. The cool thing about reading books is the more books that you read, the more knowledge you have in your brain. And you can use that knowledge in your brain to help you read more books. It's the coolest thing ever. I know, it's the coolest thing ever. Readers use what they know. I forgot to change something, count one. Two, three. Four, three five, Thank you. We did setting laughs to explain how you know what's happening. Maybe you see something is happening, but how do you know? And oh, I'm sorry, director, check in. What does that mean? The koala who could. The koala who could. Koala who could. The cool. No, it's a story. Okay. <laughs> and oh look miss call it's a monday monday morning you wake up and you're like what am i supposed to be doing okay we have vocabulary bold say it bold, bold. who knows what it means to be bold when you have no hair. that's bald bald is when you have no hair <laughs> i wanted to climb the mountain but i doubted that i could do it i wasn't sure next one wrists other means to come together Gather means to come to yes. Kevin clung to a tree. Do you see him? No. Yes. Yes. A nicer gray fellow you never would meet, as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. Readers use what they know. What's happening in the story right now? Talk about it. Okay, so how do you know he's calm? He he's just resting. Does he like to slow pace? Why didn't he want to go down? Okay, is that something you think or is that something the author said? You're so right. And I love that you remember that. When you guys stand up to tell me, make sure you tell me if it's something that you think or if it's something that the author said. Because stand up and tell them if you have a connection. I love that. That this story reminds me of a sir Sabine. Uh huh. Koala. The koala was there to climb down. Readers use what they know. I love that you made that connection. That is awesome. Is he hot? He's on fire. <sighs> He's just, there's a reason you can't see him. Because the illustrator wants you to focus on what? The story. No. Finding the yeah, the illustrator wants us to focus down here, but they hid him in the background. He, Who's he? he Kevin wants to... Nope, have a seat. What did the illustrator do on this page? Kevin. Yep, he did make a picture, but what's different about this page and this page here? What did the illustrator do? Someone knew. Made a picture. So what do you notice about what he did here? He made him sad, and what else? He's like this, and on this page he's like this. What did the illustrator do? Hold on, I want him to finish thinking. He looks closer. Do illustrators do things on accident or on purpose? purpose? They do things on purpose for sure. So why do you think the illustrator zoomed in on Kevin in this very moment? I've heard from you a lot and I love it. So instead of starting the conversation, maybe you can add on to the conversation. He wanted to show us how he was feeling. This is an important moment for Kevin. And Kevin's still clinging. What? You know what that tells me? Kevin must be strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How Kevin changed. Talk about it. In the beginning, he. Readers use what they know. Who can explain how they know? Love that I haven't heard from you yet. What have, what have you got? Liked his tree. But part of him probably felt like he was. Yeah, he probably felt scared. So I think the word you're looking for might have been scared or nervous or terrified, right? But see, when he's up here and he's looking down at them, is he happy right here? No, no he feels what? Sad. Well, 
what's another word when you don't feel like you're part of a group? Maybe jealous or maybe he he feels left out or maybe he feels lonely, right? Because he doesn't have anybody else up here in this tree with him. So I think when you said sad, you probably meant to say lonely or nervous or scared, right? Sad is one of those words that we tend to say a lot, but we can usually describe the characters a little bit better by just trying a different word. Yeah. Sad. Sad. The word endings in this word? What is it? CK. Good. CK is um, making the K sound here, but do you see one of our endings for our words here? Do you see that? Er. We have another one. Cover up this er. Mm -hmm. Why does he want to hug him? Because he's sad. You said mom. It's time for centers. Yay! Okay, close your books. Yes. Okay. We're going to stretch it and we're going to map it. Sound is th. Do you remember what two letters spell th? Yeah. Do you remember what two letters? T H. Good. So we're going to spell it T H. There's our first sound. Th. Make sure H is tall. This. Th. Yes, ma'am. Okay, wipe it clean. This. So we're going to see that word in our book today. Cam. And dad. Cam and dad. As you're reading today, the skill we are practicing is blending through the word. Instead of saying sip, I want you to do it like this. Sip. Start reading for a whisper. This is Cam. Hey, buddy, you need to be safer with that stool. Can you read? Sound it out. You need to keep your eyes on the um on the words. Okay, where's your finger? Good. Go ahead. Close. Sit. Cat. Practice that blending. Bodhi, keep going. And dad. Okay. We are going to rest. Was that good? Yeah? yeah? I love it. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to write a sentence. That new sight word we practiced this, was that a little tricky? No. It's, yeah. easy. it's okay if it was tricky and it's okay if it was easy because some of us have seen this word a little bit more than others. And the more you see it, the easier it'll be. We're going to write. This cap is for Cam. Ready? Tap it. This cap is Cam. What's the first word? This. This. Look. Capital letter. Watch Miss Call. Way over here. Way over here. Tall line down. Cross. Instead of sometimes drawing this little circle, we can just take our marker and just put a dot. So I want you to practice that next time you write it, okay? Fingers. Oh, do you see how this looks like a finger space? Put those two letters closer. Mm -hmm. And good handwriting. I love it. Here to here and then roll this way. Now, Cam is important. We're going to capitalize her name because she is so important. She's a person. So, to wipe it clean. Okay, make sure all of your markers go and racers go back in their homes. If you were in a center and you didn't get to finish your center work because you were with me, it's okay. You almost got done, right? You just need one more sentence. Next. Wet. Did not earn a smart cookie today, and that is so sad because we were so close. But at least we were close. At least we were close. Tonight, you're going to call me and you're going to say, Hi, Miss Cole. I know my friends of 10. And I'm going to say, Okay, what is 10 minus 5? Five? 5. 6 plus a number equals 10. 4. 10 minus 6. 4. Ready to practice? No. Yes. You no. said no. Yes. If you said no, I say ooh. No. Ooh. No. No. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, ready? You're gonna come here. We're gonna draw a line to split it. Here, you you can roll the dice. Hold the marker. Okay, he's gonna roll the dice. 
We're going to say out loud what it is. And then we're going to race to see who can write it first. If it's wrong, you lose. Ready? Go ahead, roll it. Okay, what is it? Six. Six. Ready? Go. Six. I was faster. It was six plus four equals ten. So our answers should be the same. You won? Okay, try again. Right? You can agree or you can disagree with an opinion because it's... It's yours. It's your opinion, okay? So we're going to work on another opinion writing today. Here is an example of what it will look like. Are my favorite food. So let's talk about what this author did. Their opinion, they said, tacos are my favorite food. They could have said, I like tacos. I believe tacos are the best food. In my opinion, tacos are the best food. I feel that tacos are the best food. But they said, my favorite food is tacos. Tacos are my favorite food. They could have used any of these words. It was their opinion. It's their opinion, their choice. Did they give us reasons? Yes. I love tacos because they're softer. I love tacos. They could have said, finally, that's why I think tacos are the best. They could have said, in conclusion, I think tacos are the best. So you get to talk with some friends about what your favorite food is. Talk about it. My favorite food is? New partner. I got you. Pepperoni. Um, is it watermelon? Tacos? Um, Steak? Chicken? Oh. Chicken? Steak? Pizza? Donuts? Nope. Cookies. Watermelon? Cookies. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Um, Cookies. My turn. My favorite food is pasta. <laughs> What's going on in all the other classrooms? What are they doing? They're learning. Yeah, and they're participating, I hope, right? Number one, state your... So I could say, pasta is the greatest food in the planet. I could say, I feel pasta is the number one food in the whole world. How many different ways I could say that? I want you to practice with one of these ways with a friend. I um, know that it's the best because I like the best. My favorite food is donuts. Now you say, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. I need a new friend. My favorite food is steak because... Nope, just steak. My favorite food is steak. Do it again. My favorite food, my favorite food is steak. That's your opinion. Another friend. Um, Let me hear you. Favorite food is fries. That's your uh, opinion. My favorite food is rice and tacos and pizza. You gotta pick one. My, my favorite, favorite food. Keep going. Okay. My favorite food is spaghetti. That's my your opinion. <laughs> I think the best food in the world is. Pizza. That's your opinion. Big superstar, five bagels I know by heart. Capital letter, finger spaces between words. Sound them out the best you can. Punctuation at the end. Go back and check. We do our best. Capital letter. I go back and check. I feel that. Pasta. I feel that pasta is the spell it. I feel finger spaces world. Your notebook. You're writing with a pencil. You're gonna put your notebook on my table when you're done and you are going to read a book where's my book if you're reading on the carpet i know you are done you have 15 minutes on the timer That's a lot of minutes. 
it's all it's more time than you need you're right today was so good probably one of my favorite days that we've had in a while everything just felt like it was flowing really nicely i didn't skip any lessons technically i skipped poetry but eh, whatever okay let's review so let me know how you're liking this microphone i don't know if you guys noticed for the most part i'm able to use it the only time i can't use it is if my phone is charging and i'm trying to record it's nice because i can be super far away from my phone and you can hopefully hear me clearly i think sometimes it might do a little shh noise but other than that i hope it's good started with morning journals this morning they were writing about their favorite place and then we went into rhyme magic so i introduced that sound is good. I introduced our endings last week. We just practiced them right before we did Rhyme Magic. And today was the first day we practiced adding on the ending and we talked about doubling the letter. It's just a quick rule you have to go over with them. Did a little bit of phonics. I kept this short and sweet because I feel like for the most part, we have a good grip on it. They've been doing awesome with just simple CBC words. All the phonics activities that I'm doing every day go kind of with the curriculum. Just take like five to seven minutes. It's not something I'm spending a lot of time doing. I do need to get their new poems in their poetry folder. I wanted to have a mom do that last week, but I didn't have enough. So gotta do that. I pulled my group that needs more help and needs to be read to. I pulled them to the carpet and kind of worked with them for a little while instead of pulling um, extra small groups. I kind of like just see where they're at on Monday. And then after that, we moved into centers. Hopefully I can show you part of my small group. I tried to get like a different angle this time, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually show it to you, um, but hopefully because I think it would be helpful. After centers, they bring me their center folder and I give them super, super quick feedback. They clean up. They were way too loud cleaning up so I didn't give them a um, smart cookie I gave them a bunch of different warnings tomorrow will be better math this was really game based I'm going back this week and just making sure we are super solid with addition and subtraction within 10 so those friends of 10s are really solid because I feel like it is such a super important foundational skill and I don't need to rush it and I felt like with the curriculum I was rushing it I set up a call out challenge so the parents have my phone number and they can call me anytime between like 3 15 and 7 30 and if their child gets it right then they get like this little pin to kind of show off that they know they're friends of 10. so for math today we did we did a knockout from Aaron Waters honestly it's like a kindergarten friends of 10 knockout pack that I had but it's perfect for what we're doing now and some of them struggle just a little bit so I'm glad that I'm actually going back and making sure this is nice and solid we played a partner game where they rolled the dice and you had to be the first one to write the friends of 10 equation and that went pretty well I had probably like three groups so I just had to be there the whole time practicing with them because they were not solid which is what I'm hoping the call outs kind of help with because then parents can practice with them at home too. A bunch of pictures and videos on Dojo. Uh, we played a math fluency game. They absolutely loved it. They went wild for this game. And then it was time for special. We talked about what our next opinion writing is going to be. They'll be writing about their favorite food this week. <laughs> Mine is pasta. So all I had them do was write their first just opening statement my favorite food is this whatever is the best and I think this lesson actually went really really well it was one of those things that you think of spur of the moment I'm trying to find more and more ways to get them up and engaged and talking during these types of lessons so I had I'm trying to find more and more ways to get them up and engaged and talking during these types of lessons. I had them do a bunch of turn and talks and then I had them practice stating their opinion with the wording that they had up on the board, the different options of wording they could use. So someone would stand up, say their opinion. We'd say, that's your opinion. Someone would stand up, say their opinion. That's your opinion. It was really fun, really engaging. And I let as many kids share that wanted to share. And it's funny because we had, of course, the typical couple of kids who love to like stand up and talk and they're not afraid. But then as we went on and on and everybody was basically cheering for kids as they were going, some of my more shy kids were like more confident getting up. So I love those very low risk opportunities for them to participate. That went really, really well. And their writing went really well too. So the way I structured writing last year was I would send them off to write and when they were done, they put their notebook on my table and then they would go and read on the card. Carpet. So they're working here, turn it in here, and then they read over there on the carpet. And I'm doing that again this year. It worked out great. I got to have a mini conference with almost all my kids. Um, as they were turning things in, I just have, not almost all, I have seven kids who I'm going to chat with in the morning super fast. And that was our whole day. So this is so cute. A little girl made me um, a cup. She's like, you can use it for your pencils and things like that. She like decorated the cup for me and I thought that was so stinking cute. 
pads for my to my new ice skating gloves. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to get ready, dressed, to go to ice skating lessons. The best thing about those wonderful cookbooks you bought me, is what I've already said like 10 times already, is that those books have told me how to make pan sauces that I could never make from reading stuff online. Because... John has tapped them. Oh, uh, the brandy sauce. This is what it looks like. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to watch Vampire Diaries for the rest of the night. Make sure you like this video. If you had fun, subscribe and join the family down below and I will see you in the next one. This is a short one. Three hour long video. I just thought I'd say